What do we have here? We got a new button lock, and it's from a company called Tecto. I had never heard of them before. I just saw this thing while I was looking on Amazon for something else, and it just struck a chord with me that this company I've never heard of, Tecto, I don't think anyone's probably ever heard of it, is charging 150 bucks for a D2 bladed uh, button lock, G10 handle, like nothing special. How are they getting 150 bucks for this? Is it worth it um, or not? Let's find out together. Man, I love this part. I had to turn the volume down because it was so loud. It was like blowing out my phone speakers and you couldn't hear anything over it. So, But I mean, listen to this. This is so intense. I mean, they really, really want you to know that this knife is badass. What's up, guys? Today, we're taking a look at our next folder, the F3 Charlie. So I love this guy. He's like all tactical looking and kind of, you know, tough and cool. Like maybe he's ex special forces or something. So the F3 was a huge hit down at the blade show. We gave a sneak peek. So I'm very excited for this release. Ah, oh, that's so smart to talk about blade show. If you don't know, blade show is like a big, uh, to do like one of them is in Atlanta. I went last year and you, go and there's like all these different knife vendors there and you can you know check out all these cool knives and it's just a big thing in the knife world so if people talk about the blade show it lets you know that they know what they're talking about and they are knife guys now one obvious thing is this blade is much larger than its fellow f1 alpha and f2 bravo ah so smart again to reference uh, like some other knives that are supposedly the same model but smaller or something that no one's ever heard of either. But it makes people think that, oh man, this is the new, better version. The handle feels safe and secure in your hands and this blade is extremely impressive to work with. Ah, that's so interesting. When you say a blade is impressive to work with, it just sounds like maybe English isn't your first language. It's so weird. So let's get started with some basics. The F3 weighs 4.5 ounces this is very light for a blade of this size 4.5 ounces for a 3.8 inch blade is pretty typical uh thanks to the g10 material so the claim here is the g10 is what's making it pretty light which it's fairly normal and not super light anyway but i don't find g10 particularly light it's i guess it's a hair lighter than aluminum uh it's lighter than titanium but it's heavier than carbon fiber it's heavier than wood, so I don't know. It's like middle of the road weight as far as uh, scales go. It's got a lanyard hole, deep carry pocket clip, finger flipper, and a button lock, which I'll show you in a second. This knife comes in four colors, black, gray, OD green, and something we're doing for the first time, a G10 Damascus, which is absolutely gorgeous. As mentioned, this knife feels really great in your hand. The jimping is nicely positioned for anti-slip and the groove and contour positioning feels purposeful. There's also hidden jimping down here below for a bit of additional grip support. This also makes the knife much lighter. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was with you up until this. Uh, a little bit of jimping is making the knife much lighter? Come on, dude. Now this is a very blade heavy knife. That We've wouldn't be a good a thing. a drop point fine edge, just like the F1 and F2, but this knife has quite a bit more meat in the belly to it. The blade length is 3.8 inches and is made out of D2 steel with titanium coating. Now I don't know exactly uh, whether this thing actually has titanium coating on the blade or not. Black coating on the blade doesn't really seem like titanium, but maybe it is. But, but what I'm thinking is, Man, these companies love to put the word titanium in their ad somehow. And then if someone's you know, searching titanium knife and what they would mean is titanium handles, they come up with this thing and maybe it uh, pulls them in. I think that's the idea. Our design team was inspired by hunting and skinning knives. So that's obviously where this aggressive belly drop point comes from. And here is the button lock. This has a very fluid opening. As you can see, once you press the button, it unlocks. Once the blade is fully deployed, it will firmly lock until you press the button again. The button lock makes this blade exceptionally smooth and satisfying to deploy. Okay, it actually does kind of look pretty smooth and, you know, maybe I wouldn't mind messing with it. Although the F3 Charlie is a larger knife when opened, it's fairly compact and discreet when it's closed. Ah, so when it's open, it's longer. 
and when you close it, it gets shorter. Making it great for everyday basis, but once deployed, this blade really gets the job done. So that is the F3 Charlie, the latest folder by Tecto. Let us know what you think. Well, I most certainly will let you know what I think. But first, I wanted to play that sweet uh, music intro they have. Then we'll talk about the knife for a few minutes and say goodbye. What do I think about this F3 Charlie button lock? It looks like a neat knife. I like a good size knife like this. Over 3.5 inches, right? Um, the materials, they sound fine. G10, D2, it's like your typical kind of budget knife. Um, and I could see it pushing 60 bucks, maybe 65, maybe even a little more. But 150? No, man. No, I don't know what the fuck you're smoking over there at Tecto, whatever the hell Tecto is, but no. I don't know what this angle is of trying to push this budget knife at 150 but show me it at maybe 60 bucks, and I might try it out. That's it. Have a nice day. Oh, crap, I forgot. This thing has a couple of one-star reviews. I wanted to show uh, one of them. What hot piece of shit I ever paid for. Uh, the guy has a picture of his Tecto knife here, and he's got a couple other nice ones there, including a Demco, so he seems to be a real knife collector. Let's see what he has to say. All right, my example has lock play. A lot of lock play. I would stay away and don't waste your money on this thing. I have better knives made in China than this thing. A Sencut, a $40 knife, beats this a Tecto F3 hands down. It makes me sick knowing what I paid for this trash. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Now, have a nice day.